Like the magnetic field, there's another cosmic force that affects life on Earth in mysterious ways. It hides in broad daylight, but there's no hiding from it. Ignore it and you'll get burned, or worse. A cosmic phenomenon gives us that golden tan we crave and that seemingly healthy look. But that look only goes skin deep. A tan is the most common effect from a potentially deadly solar source, UV or ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet is that part of the spectrum that we can't see with our eyes, but there's a fair amount of it out there and the sun is putting it out all of the time. Now, just like there are colors in the visible spectrum, there are colors of ultraviolet, depending upon what the wavelength is, and we've divided them into three different bands, ultraviolet A, B, and C. For example, ultraviolet C is blocked almost completely by the ozone layer. Ultraviolet B gets through a little bit more, and ultraviolet A gets through the most, because it's the closest to being visible light. UVA is considered the aging and skin cancer ray, and UVB is considered the burning ray. So the UVB rays cause sunburns, and the UVA rays cause the freckles and the sunspots. This is a model of a cross-section of skin. When you're outside, the UVB light will go superficial into the skin and cause sunburn. So that will damage the cells that make up our skin keratinocytes. When the cells are damaged, the body responds by activating the immune system, and that will increase the blood flow to the area of injury, and then it will activate the immune cells to produce small molecules that causes inflammation. And that's just the beginning. Prolonged exposure to UVB rays from the sun can cause cataracts, and it can also be a factor in skin cancers, such as melanoma, a potentially fatal disease. The people at most risk of developing skin cancers from sun exposure are the lightest skinned people, the people with the lightest eyes, the people who live in the sun, the people who never wear sunscreen. Those are the most at risk. There is, however, a bright side to UVB exposure, and that's the production of vitamin D in the skin. We can produce vitamin D with an innate molecule that's actually in the skin plus UV radiation, which converts this molecule into vitamin D, which we need for healthy bones, healthy calcium metabolism. However, we can also get that vitamin D from fortified foods and from supplements, so we don't absolutely have to get it from UV radiation. While UVB interacts with the surface layer of skin, UVA penetrates deeper, adding a new wrinkle to sun exposure. UVA exposure that goes deep into the lower layer of the skin will lead to photoaging and will break the collagen by increasing enzymes that break up the collagen and the elastic fibers that's in the dermis that gives us the youthful and tight and healthy skin. Tanning booths try to recreate the sun's rays artificially, but exposure to man-made sun in a booth is worse than lying under the real thing 93 million miles away. The tanning booth industry will make you think that tanning booths are safer and the tan you get from laying in them is a safer, more gradual tan, but the opposite is true. In fact, tanning booths are even more harmful to the skin the reason is because the bulbs are over 90% UVA rays, and those A rays are the, the aging and skin cancer rays, so people will develop skin cancers 20 and 30 years later. It's a known fact that going to the tanning salon increases your risk of skin cancer. Many people also think that regular sunscreen will protect them from skin cancer and premature aging. Not true. Not even sunscreens with a high SPF number will prevent these harmful effects from the sun. SPF is sun protection factor, and it measures 
how much time you can be out in the sun without getting burned. So SPF factor only measures the UVB protection, not UVA. The most effective sunscreens provide protection against both UVB and UVA. But even with frequent reapplications, sunscreens are no guarantee against skin cancer, which may be increasing due to the depletion of the ozone layer. What ozone does is it forms sort of a blanket over us that absorbs a lot of the incoming radiation. So what happens if you lose your ozone, you get more and more of this higher energy radiation, the UVB. And that's the stuff that's bad for causing damage to your skin. It's interesting to note that two billion years ago, before the Earth had an oxygen-rich atmosphere, it had no ozone layer, and life did not exist on the surface of the Earth. It could only exist under the ocean layer.